let's get ready for a little holiday night out because i feel like we need to catch up i don't update the youtube gang enough while i get ready i'm gonna have a grey goose martini to do the martini makeup trend this is actually pre-done martini so you don't have to mix this with anything you just pour it onto ice just measure it out and then i can either shake or stir it like james Bond shaken or stir it i'm just gonna stir can i just pour it into my Grey Goose martini glass. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be really fancy. And I'm gonna get, I've got a lemon from the tree in our garden. Oh my God, I'm so fancy. I've only just recently started expanding into martinis. A little bit of makeup on already from this morning. I'm gonna like half take it off. I'm gonna leave the mascara because I'm just putting it back on. I'm a changed woman. I never used to prime at all. And now I'm doing double primer. Also, have you ever seen a more beautiful sight than all clean makeup brushes, except for like two that I use this morning. Um, I wash my makeup brushes probably twice a year, which is pretty gross to admit, but I just did them last night and oh my God, does it feel good. There is nothing like putting on a full face with all clean brushes. Looking a little bit Edward Cullen. This is the skin of a killer, Bella. I recently darkened up my foundation. I realized I was using way too light foundation. Like I was matching to my face and not my chest. Noticing a huge difference. Now I have a correct shade. This is 4.7. The other foundation I was using before this one is in shade 0 0.5. No wonder I always look like a ghost. Hi, right, Andrew and I are actually going on probably our last date night of the year. Which is kind of scary to say out loud because we are heading to Hawaii because he's actually working in Hawaii on his birthday. He's turning 30. So we're making a little jolly out of it. We're going for six nights. So let me know if you have any recommendations for Honolulu slash Waikiki. And then we're only home for a couple of nights. I'm then heading to Toronto for the holidays. Couldn't really have picked a more drastic temperature change. But yeah, I'm forcing him to take me to sushi. He is allergic to fish. Not all fish, just white fish. So we don't go out to sushi much, but I just realized that we have a sugar fish in our area that I had no idea was there. We moved into our house about nine-ish months ago and we're only just now starting to actually explore the area. I have really been practicing at doing my makeup lately because I go to fashion month twice a year, two months out of my life. And during those months, pretty much every day I'm paying for glam to attend the shows and glam is not cheap by any means especially during fashion week i've been trying to get better at doing it myself so yeah i've been using these quiet months as my practice time same bronzer i like to tap this in with my fingers but what i learned the hard way at the crown premiere is that I, whew, is this pigmented and it lasts a long time so sparing with the application of this one. One thing I'm still not 100% clear on is when I'm supposed to use pressed versus loose powder. I do you know that almost every makeup artist uses this powder on me? So that's what I've been using. I figured they know better than me. I definitely don't need any more loose powder around my eyes. I don't know, I'm just swinging in the dark here. My brow gel sit for a sec. I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave this. And then really I just pick a glitter, I'm thinking gold. Very holiday. It's pretty because it's kind of like a duochrome, like gold and green. Shadow liner, just a bit. I go through stages with eyeliner. I either feel like I need it, can't live without it, and then I'll randomly just get the ick. And I can't stand wearing it for like six months. The moment I have the ick, but I'm trying to force myself through it. Okay, it wouldn't be the holidays without a red lip. But sometimes I feel alone in the fact that I hate overlining my lips. And I'm so happy that I never got lip filler when I wanted it when I was like 20 because everyone else was getting it. Give me a red. Yeah, that's red. Oh yeah, that's the gloss. Also just bought one of these. Hot round brush, heated round brush, obsessed. I don't have to sweat. I can hear things when I'm using this. I can listen to music. Okay, and then I kind of have a cutie little plan for the hair. I got some really skinny ribbon, like little bows, like so on either side. I just think it'd be really cute. Okay, I don't have any of the tiny little baby hair ties. No, cause that's freaking adorable and you can't convince me otherwise. It's like you have to have the vision with the baby bows that this is in a Elsa Hosk way, not in a toddler way, which I feel like I do have to explain quite a lot. Okay, let's do a quick outfit. I'm actually thinking I have this cutie little Wednesday dress. I feel like it might be good. Not too overdressed because it is a Wednesday night. Chic. You can either leave it really open or really close it. Yeah, I like closed. And then a shoe. 
If you know me by now, you know I hate a slingback shoe with tights because they just fall down. But I just got these and I actually sized down in them in the hope, in the hope that they would stay on my feet. That woolly mammoth is an option. I feel like it might be a bit weird with the vibe of the rest of the outfit. Yes, it is. Oh no, I know exactly what coat I want to do. White wool trench. Favorite coat of all time. I definitely want a festive sparkle bag, just which one? But thank you so much to Grey Goose for sponsoring this video. I've actually loved my classic martini cocktail. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.